What do you mean by pupil sparing third nerve palsy? Let us learn. So that is your oculomotor nerve and oculomotor nerve has two functions. Number one with the normal fibers which causes the movements of the eyeball. Second we have the pupillomotor fibers. These are the parasympathetic fibers from the Edinger westphal nucleus and these go to the ciliary ganglion via the oculomotor nerve. You know that. Third nerve palsy can happen due to two important causes. Number one is diabetes. So in diabetes what happens is this what you're seeing is the blood supply to the nerves which is known as the vasa nervosum. Okay, so in diabetes, your vasa nervosum is affected and that is causing the neuropathy because your nerve is not getting enough blood supply. Now, when the blood supply is cut off from the periphery, the most affected zone is going to be the center, which means the normal fibers are more affected than the pupillomotor fibers. That is why it causes a pupil sparing third nerve palsy. Now, coming to a mass compression like an aneurysm or something. So, this mass will either compress the co nerve completely or compress it peripherally, which causes your pupils to be affected. And that is how you can clinically differentiate the two main causes of third nerve palsy.